Hey, what's up all you, uh, dudes? <laughs> Pretty dudes. Surreal Canine here, with more to Sky D2. In the last episode, we, uh, went and got a game over at the, uh, very end of episode 9, and, uh, in this episode, we'll fix that. But first, uh, I unlocked a, a new, uh, couple new class tiers between videos. Uh, those being the tier 5 versions of the Magician and the Prinny. So, uh, let's go promote some guys. I also took the liberty of uh, reincarnating uh, all of our main characters exactly once. That's to uh, get their stats a little more on par with the rest of the party. So, yeah. Their uh, levels are going to be very different from what you remember. I also took the liberty of uh, grinding Etna down to zero hearts with uh, at least three characters. We're going to be needing that for a bad ending in the next chapter. That being said, let's hope I can hold on to it, because uh, come Friday night, I'm going to be charging right into this. My dad is staring at me like I'm a crazy man. <laughs> So yeah, let's go. It's boss time. We just saw this. Uh, we just saw this in the last video. No need to go over it again. But yeah, we are picking a fight with Barbara. She's only level 58. I do not predict there will be much of a problem, even if she has learned a new skill since the last time we fought her. By which I mean the uh, the chapter three encounter. Um. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any reason to steal any of these guys. Oh no, it's Sephiroth. <laughs> yeah. I don't see any equipment that's worth stealing, so let's just charge right in. This should be pretty fast. Yeah, Barbara is not even defending, so, uh. At least I don't think she's defending. So, uh, let's just send in our, uh, brand new, uh, tier 5 spellcasters. You know what they say, uh, wizards make the party go round. Okay, that is some pretty hefty res, actually. Who even resist wind? Sheesh. Alright, well, that's fine. I can just, uh, combo you to death. Here, home star. <laughs> Sneak up behind and, uh, pick your killer axe and kill. Whoops, um... That was not enough for a kill. Well, I've got some more units that uh, can do stuff. Ready, go. This kind of works, I think. Kind of, sort of. Oh yeah, uh, Reese also learned a new gun skill at 10, uh, 10 weapon proficiency. This could be a little awkward. Oh well, Hurricane Slash followed by a Beast King is probably not going to satisfy. Well, in that case, uh, let's gang up on some of the lesser uh, cohorts. That's probably not going to be worth a kill, but we'll have, I don't know, uh, waiting to pick up the slack. Of course, that's uh, non-effective. Oh well. Okay. Alright, only two guys left. Uh, I'm probably going to lose Pingu on this turn, but hey. 
Another new, oh, a new book skill I haven't seen. Oh no, it's Fujin and Raijin. Probably. You know, they're the uh, Toho versions of Fujin and Raijin. <laughs> Does that make them uh, Aya and Raiko? Maybe. Alright, let's see here. Alright, Sicily, finish her! Etna, finish that one! Oops, I forgot they ordered Laharl to attack. That was, uh, dirt. That was also dirt. Come on, Sicily. You can do better than that. I believe in you, little sister. There. And nobody gets the kill. 32 HP! Barbara, you are stubborn. Here, uh, Homestar. Finish her for me. Heck yeah! Alright, looks pretty good here. We are not skipping a demo. That would be extremely foolish, considering we're leading into the climax. Give a guy a couple of vassals and it goes right to his head. As you command, Master Overlord. <laughs> okay, Barbara joined the party uh, temporarily. She's gonna she's gonna leave in the post game, but we can get her back eventually. She didn't ask, obviously. Episode 9. Sicily, it was only 
only a short time, but it was fun. Good luck with being the prince's sister and all. Huh? What are you saying, Edna? Juan, I have to say I liked you better as a fallen angel, but good luck turning back into an angel. I'm rooting for you. Stop it, Edna. You're making it sound like this is goodbye. And Prince, we've been through so much together, but I was happy to be your vassal. What? You're... There's so much more I want to say, but I don't have any more time. This is it. Next time on Disgaea D2. A brighter darkness. Final episode. The eternal netherworld. Thanks for being there for me, everyone. Edna! Prince, are you going to worry about me, too? Are you going to die because of the last episode or something? Wacko, you're really taking this seriously. Well, that doesn't bode well for our next bad ending. Not at all. Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for some more Disgaea D2 character demos. First up, we have Pure Flan, who uh, who is just a uh, flan with some uh, upgrades. <laughs> uh, Pure Flan is available during the entirety of Episode Nine or in the post game by passing a uh, bill for five thousand mana. I think it's called something like "I Want to Be Pure Again." You can change back to regular Flan by. Uh, Passing a different bill. Uh, Flan's got pure Flan's has two changes from a uh, normal Flan. The first one is her ability has changed to Dangerous Revival, which increases her stats by the percentage of HP that she is healed. So, uh, like if she's almost dead, somebody gives her a full heal, she can raise her stats by like up to ninety nine percent, which is pretty cool. The other difference is she gets a new special skill, Extreme Love. This is what it looks like. That was something. Next up, we have some uh, we have some angels to deal with. You unlock these guys by uh, clearing episode eight, the uh, female angels. Or let me check my notes here. Why do these always disappear behind the like the taskbar even disappears? It's annoying. Uh, right. So to unlock a female angel, you either clear episode eight or have a level one hundred plus Onyo monk and healer. <laughs> Kind of a uh, kind of a strict requirement, and uh, these guys aren't actually all that strong, I think. But uh, yeah, you can kind of see here. Not you. You can kind of see here. I mean, uh, their best ability uh, or their best weapons are actually uh, spears, bows, and stat or swords, bows, and stabs. Excuse me, all of which are B rank at uh, max level. Uh, need to think here. So yeah, you can see they got a uh, pretty decent stats all around, except for speed. But their uh, big specialty is res. They uh, make good healers if you don't like flan for whatever reason. What kind of monster does not like flan though? I mean seriously. They learn. Well, let's take a look here at what they learn. Um, good question. One. I thought they learned. Uh, I thought they learned offensive magic. I guess they just learned the three tiers of healing spells and espoir. Okay then. Abilities though. Angel protection increases the defense of ally units by fifty. Eight adjacent allies by fifty percent. Angel Love decreases damage taken by other units by 20% from adjacent enemy units. So, in other words, it weakens adjacent enemies by 20% damage-wise. 
Angel group increases defense power of adjacent units by 100% if uh, surrounded by allies. So yeah, I mean, they're good, uh, I guess they're good defense and support, but uh, uh, you don't exactly need defense and support in the Disgaea post-game. <laughs> it's just not a thing. Next up, we have male angels. Similar to female angels, they are unlocked either by clearing episode 8 or by having a level 100 plus magic knight and priest. <coughs> They're a bit more offensively uh, geared than the uh, female angels. As you can see, uh, their stats favor swords, spears, and staves. Not swords, bows, and staves. All of which, again, are rank B at, uh, at their max tier. These stats say otherwise, it's because they're apprenticed to Flan. And yeah, these are their basic stats. Uh, Rez is, uh, is pretty high up there. Seems like uh, he ended up with a bit of variance attack wise, but that's fine. But yeah, as for their spell list. Again, three tiers of healing and espoir. Which is the thing, I suppose. Their abilities are Angel Song, which increases attack power of adjacent allies by 25%. Angel Majesty, which decreases defense of adjacent enemies by 20%. And Angel Leadership, increase attack power of adjacent units by 50% if surrounded by allies. These guys I could see being a, quite a bit more useful. Yeah, no special skills here, so, uh, yeah, we're done for now. This is a short video. But hey, I ain't complaining. <laughs> Gonna be real busy this week trying to get everything set up for the episode 10 stream. See you guys, I guess, Friday night. Bye-bye for now.